Hello, I'm Linda DeKramer, the Youth Services Librarian at the Ripon Public Library. I and the rest of the staff love serving the people in and around Ripon. Typically, we are people who serve people in person, but because that's not possible right now, we're actively working to connect with and create options for you and the rest of the community. Who misses you? We miss you a lot. So thank you to the Murray Park Parent Teacher Team for this wonderful virtual field trip opportunity, allowing us to share FaceTime and exciting library news with you. Let's check out some of the things that have been going on since the library closed in March. So maybe you've been doing some extra deep cleaning at your house or projects in the yard or cleaning the basement with all this time on our hands. So some of those kinds of things have been going on at the library as well. For one thing, um, we had all of our lighting converted to LED lighting by Madro Electric. So this upgrade will reduce the library's ener energy consumption by 40,000 kilowatt hours per year for an estimated annual savings of nearly $4,000. That's a doubly green deal. It saves greenbacks, AKA money, and the earth. Though we're physically distanced, we can still have fun and stay connected with rewarding online experiences. Library staff are actively creating content just for you on the library's Facebook page and YouTube channel. You can find things such as craft videos, story time, information on how to download free audiobooks, book talks and reviews, and reader's advisory information, and so much more. We've also been reviewing, purchasing, and cataloging lots of new materials just for you. See all these lonely things on our new shelves? Maybe I can highlight a couple things for you. Maybe you're going to be doing some gardening. This is a nice biography called The Secret Garden of George Washington Carver. Maybe you're interested in how you can support bees. Maybe you're missing your baseball season. Here's a brand new book called Who Got Game? Baseball, the amazing but true story. Right now in trying times, this book seems kind of interesting to me. Um, from 1933 to 1942, there was an organization called the Civilian Conservation Corps. People were hired by the United States government to go all over the country and complete work to benefit the rest of us. They did things in our um, national parks, our roadways, etc. And some, a lot of their work is still, um, still standing today. So that could be a really interesting read. Maybe you're looking for some inspiration. Here's a book called Groundbreaking Guys, 40 Men Who Became, who became Great by Doing Good. Happy accidents, why not? What could be better than happy accidents? So here is a whole set of books called Accidental Scientific Discoveries That Changed the World. This one's called, oops, they're x-rays. <laughs> oops, it's dynamite. Another new collection that I'm really excited about, which was funded by the Webster Grant, by the way, um, is a collection called Wonder Books or Vox Books. It means they're books that talk. So this is one single unit. It has all the illustrations and the words, and then a little playing unit right here. So why don't we check one out? This is um, The Legend of Rock paper, scissors, and I'm going to press play. Long ago, in an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of Backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Looky here, new graphic novels. I've actually been getting into graphic novels myself lately. Um, very popular. We have new Lumberjanes sitting on the shelf. This one has not been checked out once. Um, this is a brand new series, Dugout Zombie. The zombie, excuse me, the zombie steals home. A lot of you are really familiar with Big Nate. Here's the brand newest one, Big Nate. Don't miss it. Green Lantern Legacy. And I really like these. These are far out classic stories. So they kind of riff on some um, classic folk tales and fairy tales, but they really mess them up. This one's called Peter Pan in Mummy Land. Here I am featuring um, 
books and series. So uh, here's Mac B, Kid Spy. Mac cracks the code. This is from the New York Times best-selling series. Um, there is Mac cracks the code, Mac undercover. These are full of excitement and danger. This is the Fun Jungle series. Um, by Stuart Gibbs. He also did the Spy School series, which is a lot of fun and humorous. So anyway, in this particular fun jungle book, there is a zoo theme park, a kid detective, a wrongly accused lion, an inflammatory radio host. So, and this is called Hilariously Dangerous. And then I don't really need to say much about Aaron Hunter and the Warriors Collection, the very brand newest book, just got it last week. No one has checked this book out yet. Um, I know lots of people are really interested in the um, survival kinds of stories. So this is historical fiction. It's a whole series called Girls Survive. This one's called Lily and the Great Earthquake, Earthquake the San Francisco Earthquake Survival Story. Um, some of the other titles are Daisy and the Deadly Flu, hmm. Mary and the Trail of Tears, Sarah's Journey West. So if you're looking for survival stories, that is a wonderful series, Girls Survive. Um, and then I think this is fun. The Last Kids on Earth um, has actually been made into a Netflix series. Um, this book is actually a standalone. They call it a super rad solo episode. Um, and the subtitle is June's Wild Flight. So um, check that out. Moving on up into some higher level, these are more of a tween kind of uh, reading range. So this is like grades four to six. Um, this is called The Tornado. Um, the main character is Bell Kirby, and he is an expert at systems. So uh, in this book, you're gonna see systems, codes, math, bullies, and poetic justice. Here's another tween kind of read. Um, and I'm actually just gonna read a little bit right from the front cover. Um, this is about a young girl named Red. Whenever Ruby Red is scared or angry, the wind picks up. And being placed in foster care, moving from family to family, tends to keep her, star her skies stormy. Red knows she has to learn co to control it, but can't figure out how. So there's a little bit of the um, extraordinary and supernatural in that. Um, and this is uh, A Home for Goddesses and Dogs by Leslie Connor. She also wrote the award-winning book, The Truth as Told by Mason Buttle. So in this book, you're gonna find a mother's death, a farm, and a dog woven into a story of grief, healing, and joy. So those are just some of the kinds of things that are just sitting here waiting to get into your hands. So um, two things I wanna mention right here. One is with regard to um, finding books to read and series, maybe you've read an entire series. You love The Fun Jungle. What do I read next? There is a really cool tool that you can access through the library's website. It's called Novelist. You will need to have your library card in order to log into Novelist, but basically what it is is a what do I read next generator. So for example, um, you could type in Fun Jungle as a search word in the Novelist search box, and then it's going to kick up a list of 10 other series that are read-alikes to Fun Jungle that you might enjoy. Coming soon will be a little video um, on how to use Novelist, but certainly give us a call if you want to use that resource and you're having any issues. Here is another amazing uh, collection of books that are just waiting to get into your hands. So this is a special display. I created it in February, um, shortly after all the big awards were announced from books that were published in 2019. So this uh, display encompasses everything from picture books to graphic novel, to um, easy readers, to tween. So um, this book, for example, the New Kid, it won two really major, major awards. It's a graphic novel. It got the Coretta Scott King Award and the, um, I'm sorry, got a check, and the Newbery Award winner. So those are two of the most major awards a book can win. This book won both of them. It's called The New Kid. It's a graphic novel. Maybe you wanna get your hands on that. Some fun picture books. Stop bot. <laughs> 
course that's fun. An oldie but a goodie. The important thing about Margaret Wise Brown. Probably. Oh, and look, here is a new one by Mo Willems. This is an easy reader. Um, it's in a series called Unlimited Squirrels. This one's called Who's the Mystery Reader? It's a mystery who's gonna get this in their hands next. I hope it's you. Go ahead and put a hold on that. So how do you get your hands on all this library material, including all that brand new stuff I just told you about? Curbside pickup is available. All you need to do is let us know what you want. We'll check it out to your account, and then we'll call you or email you to schedule a time for you to pick it up at the curbside. There are lots of ways you can let us know what it is that you want. You could call us 920-748-610. All these things will be repeated in text somewhere in this video, so don't worry about writing it down now. You could email us at rplstaff at ripandlibrary.org. You could even place the holds yourself on the online catalog if that's something you're familiar with doing. You could give me personally a call if you're having trouble figuring out what to read next. I will help you do that. Um, or just talk to anyone in general at the library. Library staff are only too happy to assist you with these things and any other needs you may have. We will help connect you to the people and resources you seek. And one last little comment before I say goodbye. In tough times, it is especially important that we take care of ourselves and others. So as much as you are able, be a helper and look to others for help. And hopefully we'll see you real soon.